Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. We recently launched the Poly API to allow your application to dynamically search and download 3D assets at both edit and runtime. Check out the post linked in the description below for screenshots and getting started instructions. The AIY team just announced their next project, the AIY Vision Kit, an affordable, hackable, intelligent camera. Much like the Voice Kit, our Vision Kit is easy to assemble and connects to a Raspberry Pi computer. You can get started with the post. Apps for the Google Assistant are the gateway for your users to engage with your services through Google Home, Android phones, iPhones, and in the future, through every experience where the Google Assistant is available. To help you learn the best practices for this platform, we launched a new YouTube series. A link to the playlist is on the post. The next release of Android Things Developer Preview 6 is here with a new IoT launcher, graphics acceleration defaults, a command line flashing tool, and more. Details are on the post. If you know the basics of building Android apps and want to delve deeper, take a look at our new Advanced Android Development course built by the Google Developers Training Team. Starting today, we're rolling out the final update to the Android 8.1 Developer Preview before the official launch to consumers in December. Android 8.1 adds targeted enhancements to the Oreo platform, including optimizations for Android Go and a neural networks API to accelerate on-device machine intelligence. Check out the post for how to test your app with this update. We recently eliminated the cluster management fee for Google Kubernetes Engine, our managed Kubernetes service. This makes Kubernetes Engine's cluster management available at no charge for any size cluster effective immediately. Folders in Cloud Resource Manager is a powerful tool to organize and administer cloud resources. It gives you the flexibility to map resources to your organizational structure and enable more granular access control and configuration for those resources. And it's now generally available. Take a look at the post for more details and a video. The 31st Annual Conference on Neural Information Processing Systems happened this week, but don't worry if you missed it. This post has links to all the papers, workshops, demos, and more that we presented there. We're rolling out HTML5 playable ads in universal app campaigns, so your users can quickly spin a wheel, score a point, or jump into level two right from the ad. To learn more, check out the post linked in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Developer Show. To catch some of our prior episodes, click right over here.